Forest Hill police say they know who murdered an employee at an elementary school yesterday, and while they search for him, they are not telling the public who he is. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. It's been a strange investigation. Parents of young students weren't told a thing about the murder that happened before school yesterday until after school let out. And the identity of the Sellers Elementary School employee who was killed has not been released, but some who knew her have been paying tribute to her at the school. Fox Sports Peyton Yeager is in Forest Hill tonight with the murder investigation and the search for the killer on the loose, but unidentified to the press anyway. Peyton. Steve, there is a growing memorial behind me here at Sellers Elementary School did take place today. Now, Forest Hill Police say right now they are not releasing the name of the person of interest, but they tell me they released that name to other North Texas law, law enforcement agencies so they can also be on the lookout for this person of interest. But the police chief tells me that an arrest warrant is coming. Balloons and flowers line a fence at David K. Sellers Elementary, a Fort Worth ISD school in Forest Hill. It's just feet from where a female cafeteria worker was murdered. Thursday, people stopped by to pay their respects to the longtime district employee who was shot and killed in the school's parking lot before the start of her workday on Wednesday. There's a fine line as it relates to how much information we can give because it could compromise our case. Also Thursday, Forest Hill Police Chief Eddie Burns provided a brief update on the search for the cafeteria workers killer. We do have a person of interest identified. But police are not releasing the person of interest's name. Chief Burns only saying the victim and the killer knew each other, but wouldn't elaborate on the relationship. Wednesday morning, just before 7 a.m., investigators say the woman was seen speaking to someone in a silver Chevy Impala. The woman was shot multiple times and later died at the hospital, the Impala took off. Tarrant County Sheriff's Office found the Impala in Fort Worth shortly after the shooting, but the vehicle was abandoned. Police aren't disclosing where the car was parked or what pointed deputies to that unidentified location. Chief Burns does confirm the Impala found matched video footage police received of the shooting. We do have them identified. And so once again, we'll wait. Once again, just certain information we want to give out. But right now at this time, we're just going to hold off until we get some more information and, and connect the dots. We also asked Chief Burns why his department held off on releasing basic information publicly in a timely manner on Wednesday. Police issued a press release at 5 p.m. Wednesday confirming a murder took place on campus well after the children had gone home from school. Well, we have an ongoing investigation. Investigation, so we know that we could compromise our investigation and the case if we start releasing too much information. So again, Forest Hill police have that Chevy Impala. They also have the victim's vehicle. So the police chief tells me they are looking for evidence in both of those cars. Again, we're still waiting for the woman's name to be released by the Tarrant County Medical Examiner.